Hello everyone, I'm Greycloak, thank you for joining me, and welcome back to episode 2, 238, I think, right? Yeah, 238 of Factorio with the C-Block mod, where we are trying to make a outpost uh, train, basically, that has most of what we need to make all of our outposts, hopefully. And we just finished this, which is mainly for the train stations themselves. So we should be able to make areas like this with that content. We haven't really thought about fluid stations though. And I haven't thought about the uh, roboports or anything. But maybe that is something I would be carrying around anyway. I'm not sure. The next train though. Oh, also we want to... First of all, make sure that we have fuel over here, because we have run out. And thus we have become low on power. I guess we have also become low on fuel stuff, no? Oh, we're not using the fuel here because I cut off the water for some of it. But we are low up here, yes. So we need to fix that pretty soon. But we just grabbed a lot of stuff to also make a new uh, power plant, I guess, next to the other one. We need to reprocess the used fuel though. That will give us more fuel, because we just lack more empty nuclear fuel cells at the moment. So yeah, that part should be easy to do. And I guess we should actually go do that now. We are running out of power, soon the robots won't be able to bring us stuff here anymore anyway. So let's work on that. Should we just bring more to make the new nuclear power plant first? We have this, 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 these. Mm, I will just go and put this down, or whatever we can put down here. I will get rid of those though, because I just want my faster robots to work. So for this, we just take the used up stuff and we'll just bring it back to the warehouse that has our uranium. Of course I run out of belt here, but we have a logistic network over here. Is that extending anywhere close to here? This is just totally by itself. We once upon a time had some chests here, but I guess we relocated those. Or down here, I guess it was. Or here. Do we have... Can we see what is in network from here? No. no. Can if we do this? There's no belt. Is that right? Dang it. Do I have underground belt, at least? No, but there is underground belt in this network, so go, let's go grab that. I just have to remember where the chests are here. Oh, here they are. So, wait, I did have underground belt. I was just blind as always. I did just put underground down here down here so not sure why I didn't realize that uh, let's not put it directly in we want well let's do it we can process it next to this here or something I will just upgrade those inserters power them not do this. Wait, oh, this is done in centrifuges. I think I've been carrying those around for a while as well. This takes 120 seconds for 10. I think I can work with that. Too. 
a... Oh, these have stuff in their hands. I don't need more than one insert of each input and output. We can put down another power plant meanwhile. That should be in here somewhere, I think. Yes. Does. Wait, we haven't updated this blueprint for all corner storage tanks and stuff. So let's make sure that we have that. And let's replace this then. I forgot about storage tanks and pipes, but we might have left some of that. Yeah. Good. Didn't I bring six? Yes, I did. Okay. I guess if we just put some of this in chests, we would have help. No, they're already working all of them. Oh, well. I'll still do that at least. Good. Hopefully we have substations available here. We do not. I think I might have had some up here though. Where are those chests again? Am I blind? They are right here. Oh, they're blue. Okay. We have 50 substations, yes. But I used all of my power. Mm, annoying. We should be getting some back now though. Good. This is not where they're supposed to be. It's here. There's 11, that's a start, I guess, but I want more. Here's another 51. Okay. And that's all of them, I think. I just need them to take eight of those so I can get the rest in here. Unless we didn't need an eight. They go in here then. How are we doing on uranium stuff in general? Five thousand two three five. And we're limiting the two three eight. That goes in here, so that's fine. Low power. It's a good thing we came before we ran entirely out of power then. Uh, these are so slow with low power though. So what is it we need here? Steel and what? I have handcrafted this before it seems. Lead and steel. I think this will be a lot faster if I just go grab lead. 
I also need star tanks though. Wait, have I actually used purple star tanks? Yes. I guess that doesn't make a big difference. There's no electronics involved in that anyway. Mm, lead plate somewhere around here. me through please okay this should be a lot faster yeah I'm waiting for this anything else we need to get rid of here I don't think so. I should have brought storage tanks while I was over there anyway though. I think that's the only things we lack. Well, maybe more pipe, though I'm not sure about that. Only have a hundred construction bots. That could also be improved. So, storage tanks, bots. And pipe. It's probably what we will be bringing here. I'm just gonna make some space for it all. Though maybe I should have put some fuel into the reactors first. Too late now. I'll just take another 500 out of there. Uh, Start tanks all the way at the top. We need a lot of those for nuclear reactors, so let's start storing a lot. I think I said something else I needed. I already forgot though. Also, it would be nice with two more of these. Let's steal some resources from there and put in here. That's enough for two. Good. Pipe. I said pipe. I need more pipe. Always more pipe. Is this just low because of the low power? I think so. One more. That is, of course, also slow because of this. Oh, there we go. Good. Oh, also, we need active provider chests. And we haven't automated those, right? No. So green circuits, red circuits. I should really just craft a bunch of these and bring. I'll take that, please. We also need steel chests. can take not those but the circuits good i think that's everything then hopefully
Well, maybe we had enough pipe already. But now we have more. Good. Oh, I wanted to put robots in. And I had two more reactors. If only I could get through. Good. I need enough of this to start 16 reactors. There we go. I use power poles here to carry the wires for signals. And that is those are tier one power poles. I think I'll just go grab some from up here then of those, because those are probably not that useful anymore anyway. And I don't think I care about upgrading to tier two or three or whatever it is we're using. So is that everything for here? I think so. We have a few more uh, roboports. Enough for one more, I guess. Okay. Oh, we're now producing some amount of power here. It's not enough, but it helps. We won't run entirely out of power then. This will be a while. We also need to insert us. Dang it. It's not a lot of insert slope, so this should last almost forever. I'll just go put those down first, because that's faster. I don't want the reactors to be done with their fuel before we have those inserters ready. And put the rest of these in there. Really want to be able to run through here, but I guess I can survive without that. So this stuff is heating up, and that takes a while, obviously, but the temperature is getting close to what it needs to be. It is actually above what it needs to be, so we are making steam. Awesome. Not all of them are obviously that hot, but they are getting there. So that should help even more with our power. Yes, please. That still doesn't feel like a lot of power, though. Oh. oh. It's just lowered over time, I guess, because of this stuff. That doesn't make a lot of sense. Megawatt is just doesn't work that well when looking at a graph over time, I guess. Because we just really want to see our, well, a snapshot in time of how much we're producing. I calculated this a lot of times already, but I feel like these should be producing more still. They can output five megawatts each. 
and there's almost 200 in here, so it's basically one gigawatt for a setup. So we should have two gigawatts here. Oh, we have two gigawatts. Never mind me. Good. So everything is up and running as long as we have enough fuel. And all of our fuel has used all of our carriers or whatever they're called. Empty fuel cells. So we should be fine. We could make an alarm here or something. For when we get <coughs> if we get low on this stuff. If we ever get a below like 20 or something. And then we have to come and do something. I don't think that would happen unless we run out of dark green stuff or if these somehow stop working, I guess. Which they have. So again, we can fix all of this by outputting the dark green stuff out here instead of in here. But this should really work. We can also fix it by actually bringing the light green stuff around, uranium-235, and only put it in here when it's overflowing, like with this stuff. And also just have add a little bit of security by only doing that at the top one here. The frontmost one, whatever you want to call it. Also do something with the belts, try to stop them if we don't have enough or something. Or just make all of these inserters filter inserters for only light green stuff, then it should be fixed as well. This might also fix a lot of the problems. It should be able to take both dark green and light green stuff then in the time that this outputs one of them maybe maybe not i'm just having fun trying stuff that doesn't necessarily work it's a little bit brittle maybe but we should be fine i think this will work just fine our Steam engines have started kicking in again now, so that's good. I would like to transfer all of our power production to this though. If possible, but we need eight more reactors and that's gonna be a while. So for now, let's go back to our train loading. They can take my junk from over here, I guess. Next train. I do want the storage tanks for train stations and some pumps for them. Which is all in fluid handling.
50, so one stack of these should be able to make a lot of train stations, so we're going to stick to that. These are useful in all resource production areas. If we want to do this stuff, where we will use pumps to actually get our water throughput into all of the electrolyzers. So I think we should just take a lot of those. And just to keep that close to whatever the hills they are supposed to do, we should keep these in there. What are the ratios between those though? Hundred and thirty pumps to hundred and seventeen storage tanks. I'm just gonna keep equal amounts then. And maybe just to make it a little prettier we'll do this. Then we need some of these. And some top of whoops valves. And at some point we will probably want some barreling pumps. And at that point we pr maybe want barrels as well, but I'm not going to do that yet. Okay. So have we gotten everything we would need for a train station? Or, yeah, an out the train station's at an outpost. Stag inserters we have, underground belt, yes, pumps, storage tanks, provider chests for fuel we need. Why the 16 of those though? Oh, because I have this stuff, so that's probably fine too. We want provider chests. Two stacks, sure. Some pipe. Mm. I'm gonna put that in another train wagon, I think. Loaders we have, store or warehouses we have. Fast inserters and not stack inserters. We don't have those. Should we use stag inserters instead though? Probably. Just stick to one sort of inserter type. I think I want to do that. At least for this. We will still add slow inserters for everything else, for now at least. But these are mainly for the train stations, so that's fine. <clears throat> the train stations themselves. Maybe we need that. I could also carry those. We had train stations, we should also add trains and train wagons and stuff. Maybe that's okay in some smaller amount. So we need four times as many of these as trains. Should we stick with one stack of locomotives then? No, let's just go big. Oh, I said main stations as well then. And let's do some of these as well, and some of these. This is mainly meant for the file train, but still. I guess we should add these as well. How many items is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 
10, 11, 12, 13. That's going to be difficult to get in. I think we're gonna add the train stuff here to another cart instead. Or another wagon. And then fill this up with something that we need a lot of. Which could be slow inserters. So that's what a thousand of those. We don't need that many to be honest. Wait, this is not the one. This is the one I should be looking at, currently at least. We need a lot of pipe as well, we need to remember that. A thousand underground, we have two thousand of that. Oh, also it's 260 pumps and 230 storage tanks. We did do 450 of both of those though, so that's fine. I think, how many things do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have four more. And it would be nice with these. I'm just gonna bring a hundred of those, I guess. And these. I'm gonna bring a hundred of those as well. That is a high amount, but let's do it. This is only the second wagon, right? Yes. And then, did we do any roboports at all? No. So these for the train stations, I think. Let's just fill it up with that. Sure. So, storage tanks, storage tanks, pumps. Oh, not into there, thing. Now they're being delivered. Oh, well. We'll take those and put into another chest shortly. You go in here instead. 450. Then overflow, top up. How many overflow valves do we actually use here? 124, holy Christ. What are we using that many for? Wait, what? We don't have overflow valves here, right? I don't think so. Guess we can see this in here a little bit easier. Two overflow valves so far. And yes, here we should be using a few more, yes. And yes, up to this point is fine. But now they're skyrocketing. Oh, for this stuff. So for all of the burning of oxygen and hydrogen. I guess that is a lot we need. What are the stack sizes of those? Do I have any? No. Ten. So I need more storage for those. So 
something like this, I think. Let's just fill the rest with overflow valves then. Sure. I'm just gonna say 200. We only have 130 or something like that, but it's fine. Top up valves. Am I blind? Yes, I am. 50 of those. Because we are not using that many top of valves. If any. Four. So, yeah, not a lot. Maybe we shouldn't spend this much storage on it then. Let's go down to 30 of those and do 150 overflow valves. Sure. Then we need. Barreling pumps and passive provider chests. And that was just two, yes. So we're starting from the top. Let's do that consistently. Now, if we have these, we also need requester chests. Would we like to replace anything with those? Maybe even less top of valves? Sure. Just one tile of, or one stack of those, please. Next, insert us 1000. I guess 80 of those, which is still a lot. We could actually just have gone with 50 or something. But now we're doing this. And then 80 of these as well. Wait, did I end up with too many things still? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12. Oh, we don't need anything else for that. This is exactly 12, I think. And we said two of those? Yes. Now we're coming to the things we need a lot more of, like pipe. A thousand underground pipe, 1400 normal pipe. We could probably have optimize that a little bit in here maybe we do need a pipe there and there so we could have not skipped anything okay same thing out here so all of this pipe needs to be there and we don't have a lot of pipe up here so yeah we need it That's 2,000. Was that what I needed 1,400 of? Yes. So I guess we'll do 3,000. And... I guess we'll do 2,000 underground pipe then. Just need to grab some. Oh well, I don't. I can just do this. So these are only stacked to 50, so we need four rows. And then we need some of this. And then I don't know if we want to fill the rest. This one should probably 
actually we're gonna need a lot of space we should not waste too much in here because if we need 120 el uh, what are they called electrolyzers and 120 casting machines and that's gonna take a lot of space as well what can we put in here though that would be good in general liquefiers sure Fifty of those. So that's a pretty simple setup. I could do with less of this, I guess. Hmm. I just need twenty-one for this. Would I like to use that space on instead then? Chemical plants, I guess. Okay, and then all of the heavy machines. These only stack to 10 as well, right? We need that many for one setup. I think we can just go for three, maybe? Some of these things won't be universally needed. But I think this is. They probably also only stack to 10. I think almost all of Angel's machines does that. So we need 32 for this. I could do one full line of it maybe. But we want one full line of crystallizers. And maybe half a line of filtration units. Could of course add another wagon if we really need to. And that shouldn't really be a problem. I would just have liked this train to stay fast because I use it as, as a transit vehicle. But I guess I could make another one for that. Uh, filtration. Then what? We're gonna need hydro plants as well. And then just the smelting stuff, which I haven't even gotten anything in here yet. Crushes as well. How many crushes? We're using two for every sorter right now. So we should probably fill up the rest with those. I wish you could drag that stuff, but that doesn't seem to be possible. Actually, what if you did this? No. So we need more wagons if we want to stay. Oh, yeah, get all the things we need to build, almost everything. But I guess I could also go back and grab stuff for these setups, like smelting stuff and such. Smelting is probably going to be needed almost everywhere though. So I would want to move this, I guess. If only I had placed it here instead. Can't really insert into this, no, it stays closed like that. At least I don't think you can. You can? Okay, never mind. It's not go just not going to be as pretty, I guess. Let's get these requests set up. Since we don't have a lot of different stuff in here, I think we'll just use several chests for this 
three for those, maybe four for these. Nah, just two for those. Still need it to be full. Oh, at least 500. So we have 3,000 there, we have 1,000 here, but we needed 2,000. Then some of this. And then two more chests. Or chemical plants. I think we had four stacks. And liquefiers. Yes, good. And then electrolyzers 300. And 100 sorting facilities. And crystallizers and filtration units. And some crushers, 200. Good. And then we have all the extra stuff. Some of all the extra stuff that we will need. So this train is for the smelting part, I think. We haven't gotten flare stacks and clarifiers in any way either. Maybe we should start with that. Because we need a lot of flare stacks for this, at least. 112, holy Christ. Maybe we should have just reduced that amount, because we are over. We overdid that. Put it in wherever. But maybe we start with this and something like that. And hydro plants, I have mentioned a couple of times. Some of these, some of these. I didn't do that earlier, no. And then it's just smelting, I think. So it's 20 of these to 40 of the induction furnaces to 120, right? I think so. Let's do 50 of these then, to 100 of these, to 300 casting machines, I guess. A mod for stacking these things a little bit higher would be awesome. And yeah, we're just gonna put this in now, and then I guess that's a good enough start. First, 200 flare stacks. And that isn't even enough for two of the setups we have laid, well, built as the last thing. 50 clarifiers. Fifty hydro plants, I think. Right? 
Yes. Two stacks of these, which is 40. And three stacks of these. Which is 60. One, two, three, four, five. And then we have three things left here. I guess that can get in there, maybe. Yes, okay. Oh, we should just put this on the other side. We don't need that much excess. So. 50 of these. Into a hundred of these. Into 300 casting machines. And then we haven't even gotten all processors in these things, I don't think. Where would we have put that? So, how many of those do we need? 60. Just do 200 of those then. Should have left some storage space here, I guess. Because this is filtered. To only accept spent fuel. Do we still have fuel, by the way? Yes, 300. So we're still reprocessing this to get the spent thingies back. That's good. Maybe we need more of that, maybe not. I'm not sure. More of these machines, I mean. Reprocessing everything. Do we have any more reactors? No. That would be wishful thinking. But at least we have a train here now. That can mostly build. Really? Medium electric poles? Have we run out of steel or something? And cover wire, dang it, because tin is so low. So tin is probably the third thing we'll be making after iron and cover. Do we have any tin lying around anywhere? I think I've already checked, but maybe we missed some because we didn't have the space or something. That's 55. Oh, whoops. I guess that's a start. So we could turn some of this into more tin. Maybe that would be helpful. I've talked about this so many times though and didn't do anything about it. But also process this all instead of this. If I did just take this, how difficult would it be to put this down somewhere around here and use these? We wouldn't need the blast furnaces in this. I think I'm gonna put this here.
And of course we need some stuff for that, so that's fine. We have those machines around here. There's some blast furnaces and some tier one casting machines, also tier two. What about induction? Yes, those are there. So if we can just extend this out to here, it should be built, I think. These are supposed to be pushed out, right? Not these in. Does it matter? Probably not. And I'm out of belt. Great. Is this belt being delivered? It looks like it, so we could... Maybe get the robots to do this as well. Yes, I could do most of this myself with these. Something like that should work right. Hopefully the robots will come with this stuff. We need it to go here. Do we have eight robots coming? That's not really a lot. Are we just out? No, we have three thousand. Most of this is in range, some of it isn't. Maybe I can find some of them. I'll just go grab more, I guess. Should have just started by doing this. Then we have basically doubled our tin production. And I just wanted to have a look if we had any more tin plate in here that we could just bring for the power poles. But we don't.
but we can start with this. I think tin is supposed to go in here somewhere. But let's put most of it directly in. No, we need tin to cover wire. And that's gonna get eaten up before we get here, so let's make something to cover wire locally. Hopefully that's then put into here and not everywhere else. Yeah, but that's probably because I took most of it. Really, stone pipe is low. Oh, underground pipe. Okay, it is. I think this has just been backed up for a while, but it is going down now. Maybe. every two of them because they put to the far side which is not prioritized could probably do something about this that should speed it up by a bit I guess the train is basically done, we can start using it. If we want to. So let's bring it up here. And it will be too long to fit in here, so we should unload what we need and then bring it back here. I guess it will go back by itself unless we tell it otherwise. Hopefully this helps us make the next two outposts a lot faster. But we might just be too low on the machines needed for that anyway, so who knows. It actually fits. What? Oh, don't, 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 no, 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 no. So they're allowed to go past that and they're allowed to come in good. We need charging for the robots going up. Because I didn't set a lot of that up, if any. So yeah. But unfortunately, that's all we have time for in this episode. So thank you all for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye.